Today, we're gonna to build the T16 Skyhopper using 14 Lego pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. I've been wanting to build a T-16 Skyhopper forever, but I just keep getting distracted. I build an X-Wing, a TIE Fighter, a Star Destroyer, because the T-16 Skyhopper just keeps getting tossed aside. But in 2022, Lego put one in their Star Wars advent calendar, and I was like, thought, this is a really cool build. And so while I'm still getting around to building my T-16 Skyhopper on micro scale, I thought I'd show you how Lego did it in the 2022 advent calendar in case you didn't pick it up, because all these pieces are probably ones you have laying around the house so you can build this yourself without spending an arm and a leg for these advent calendars. But what I'm gonna do is start with this one by two by two third brick with side studs. And this little stud will be the front of my Skyhopper. And this big ugly back end is gonna be the um, back of my Skyhopper, like the engines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it out. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a one by one plate with clip. And what I wanna do is I want that one by one plate with clip facing down. So I put the plate onto that front stud facing down. And now on that plate piece, so that with the clip, I'm gonna grab a one by one translucent clear plate and put that onto my clip plate to kind of create the glass canopy to the T-16 Skyhopper. And then to give it a little more shape and make it look more aerodynamic, I'm gonna grab a cheese wedge slope, this cheese wedge slope, and have it so that the thick end is facing down and the thin end is sloping up to the top. And now I've kind of got the front nose of my T-16 Skyhopper and I get to build the wings. And to build the wings, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab two of these one by two plates with open end handles. And I'm gonna put those plates along the side studs of my one by two by two third brick with side studs. So what I'm gonna do is line it up so that the plates go across the stud and the handle is facing down. So I do it to both sides, plates across the side studs, and the handle is down. And once I have those on, I'm gonna add those bottom wings. And to create the bottom wings, I'm gonna use these trapezoid wing uh, flag pieces. And what I want is I want that sloped end to be in the front and the flat end to be in the back. So here I'm gonna do is attach it to those open end handles, so the flat end is in the back, sloping in the front, and I've got the bottom wings to my Skyhopper. So here we've got flat end in the back, wings sloped in the front, and I'm done with the bottom wings. I just have to do that big old back top fin of the T-16 Skyhopper. And to build that, I'm gonna start with this one by one by one inverted bracket piece. And I'm gonna put that inverted bracket on that back stud of my larger one by two by two third brick. So it's facing backwards, kind of creating the back engines of my T-16 Skyhopper. Now I have to build it up. And to build it up, I'm gonna grab a one by one brick, just a regular one by one brick and put it on the stud of my inverted bracket going up like this. So you got the small end there, and then the bracket just building up. And on top of that brick, I'm gonna grab a one by one red plate piece and put that red plate on top of my one by one red brick and build it up a little more. Now to smooth it out and taller, I'm gonna grab a one by one tile piece. So I put that one by one tile piece on top of my one by one red plate piece. And I've kind of got the back end of my top wing. And to finish the wing off, I'm gonna grab this larger two by one by two slope piece. And I'm gonna put it so that the flat end goes flush against those br uh, bricks and plates I just put on across the front stud of my one by two by two third brick. So it goes like this and it kind of hangs over to that canopy I built. And now all I need is the lower cannons because what is the point of having a T-16 Skyhopper if you're not gonna shoot some Womp Rats? And so to create that bottom cannon to shoot your Womp Rats, I'm gonna grab this minifigure ski pole and just where the minifigure would grab the ski pole, I'm gonna put that into the clip that I put on the beginning facing down and have the ski pole facing forward as if it's the front cannons to my Skyhopper. So here we have Luke Skywalker able to shoot some Womp Rats back home before he goes off to fight the Empire. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.